Hello everybody. Okay, so to start this look, I'm going to prep my skin. I'm using Moisture Match from Garnier. This is a moisturizer for combination to oily skin. So I'm going to pop that all over my face. This leaves me with kind of a mattified look. Next, I'm going to use my eye cream. I'm using Eye Contour Balm from Clarins. I'm just going to rub this under my eyes using my ring finger. Now that my skin is prepped, I'm going to go in with the foundation. I'm using NARS Sheer Glow, and this is in the colour Fiji. And I'm going to buff this all over my face using a Real Techniques buffing brush. This is definitely my favourite foundation brush of all time. I probably spend around five to seven minutes buffing foundation in all over my skin. I We'll continue to do it until I'm happy with the, the coverage and the colour it gives me, but I've edited a lot of that out. Now that I'm happy with my foundation, I'm going to contour with a cream contour. This is Sleek Makeup and it's in the colour Earth 710, so it's definitely a good few shades darker than my skin tone. I'm just using a big eyeshadow brush and I'm bringing it into the hollows of my cheek, so from the middle of your ear to the corner of your mouth. And I'm applying, I'm not afraid to apply that product on there. And then I'm going to bring it down the sides of my nose. That's just going to give my nose a bit more of a slim effect. I'm going to put it underneath my lips to give my lips a natural pout. Around my temple. And then I'm going to pop a little bit on the top of my forehead. Not to forget my eye sockets or my jawline. I'm going to chisel in a new jawline as well. So although I might look very silly now, it will all come together once I blend it in place. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to take MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in NC15. So this is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. I'm just going to take a small flat foundation brush and I'm going to put that generously under my eyes, down the centre of my nose and in the centre of my forehead. So anywhere you want to bring forward and to highlight, a little bit on my chin and then underneath the contour of my cheekbones. And once I'm happy with everything, I'm going to blend it all in. I'm using a fluffy concealer brush to do this. The trick to this is to just keep on blending. It's not going to look silly once you blend it enough. Now I'm taking a Real Techniques stippling brush. And once I have roughly blended everything together, I'm going to come back in with my foundation brush. And that's really going to ensure that all the lines are blended together really really smoothly. I probably spend five to ten minutes at least on just blending this all together but at least now it looks really really natural to make sure it's all blended in around your jawline and your hairline and it all looks really natural. Next I'm going to take Stay Matte Powder. This is in 001 Transparent and I'm going to apply a lot of this product and leave it sitting on the skin so I'll wipe away the excess at the end once I finish doing my eyes. So I'm going to put this everywhere that I put the lighter concealer. And leave it sitting there. I'm not going to wipe it off the skin. Next I'm going to take Harmony Blusher from MAC. And this is a really well loved blusher for me. And I'm going to use like a small blusher brush. And I'm going to put that everywhere that I have the darker contour. And that's gonna set it in place, but it's also gonna really, really enhance it and make it pop a lot more. This is a dramatic look. Once that is done, I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. I'm going for a strong eyebrow, so I'm gonna go in with the HD brow pencil first. And I am going to overdraw them um, by bringing them kind of higher so I'm not wasting any lid space. I'll just outline underneath my brow and then I will have to completely draw in my arch. So anywhere that my hairs are a bit sparse I'm drawn in and then I'm just going to lightly fill it in. 
And once I've done that, I'm gonna comb through and that's gonna really soften any lines and make sure there's no harsh lines with the pencil. Once I've done that to both my eyebrows, I'm gonna come in with the HD Brow Palette. So these are eyeshadows basically. And I'm gonna take the rich brown color. So this gray kind of brown color here. And I'm gonna take a MAC 266 angle brush and fill in my brows. So I'm gonna just, I'm using really light strokes doing this. And I'm basically going over anywhere that I had penciled in. So I can still faintly see the pencil, but the powder is gonna to stick to that now. And it's also gonna look a little bit more natural than pencil. Powder always looks a little bit better on the skin. So even though I've really, really drawn on my eyebrows, they don't look too drawn on. So now that that's done, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I'm gonna take Wedge from MAC and a MAC 217 blending brush and I'm gonna pop that through my crease. So I'm going to do the same on both eyes and I'm going to build it up and then I'm also going to take it underneath my eye as well and join it to the top. Once I'm finished doing that I'm going to take Clarins Hot Chocolate, this is a matte brown and I'm going to take a MAC 239 and I'm going to pop that into the outer V of my eye. I'm going to pack that on and extending it out a little bit because it's going to be a dramatic smoky eye. I'm also going to bring that right underneath my lash line as well. So once you're happy with how much you've packed on to both eyes, I'm going to blend it all through with a MAC 217. I'm going to use the same one I used um, with the wedge. Once I'm happy with that shape, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on building it and blending it until I am happy with the shape. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to take Mac Embark, which is a darker kind of brown, has like ready tones through it. I'm gonna take the same 239 brush and I'm just gonna apply that on the outer part of my eye, so on top of the hot chocolate. Again, I'm just going to pack that on until I'm happy enough with the, the shape it's kind of creating. And then I'm going to blend it with a clean 217 brush, which will give you a little look like that. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow from MYX. It's called Sahara Pearl. And I'm going to pop that onto the middle of my lid. So it's going to brighten the eye a little bit. And then I am going to take Naked Lunch from MAC. This is a nice bright shimmery colour and I'm going to put that into the inner corners of my eye and onto my tear duct and kind of bring it down a little bit to really brighten the eye. Then I'm going to take a black eyeliner. Any eyeliner will do. I don't know which one this is because the name is rubbed off but I'm going to put this onto the top and bottom lashes and I'm going to apply it quite heavy and I'm going to apply it kind of into my lashes and then smudge in the bottom with my MAC 266. Once I've done that I'm going to take carbon from MAC, just any matte black eyeshadow will do and I'm going to line the tops of my lashes. So this is going to give it a bit of a softer effect than a gel liner would but a little bit more dramatic as well. Once that is done I'm going to take Clarins Instant Definition Mascara and I'm going to apply a couple of coats on my top and bottom lashes and then I'm going to come in with really dramatic eyelashes. These are optional, you do not have to do it. Um, I kind of regret putting, putting these on, but hey-ho, they're on. Then I'm going to take MAC Peaches Blusher, another well-loved blusher, on an angled brush. And I'm just going to pop that onto my cheeks. Then I'm going to take MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. This is a um, mineralized skin finish. And I'm going to put that onto the tops of my cheekbones and down the center of my nose. This is a lipstick from Rimmel, the Kate Moss Collection in 03. It's a nice pinky nude colour. I'm going to pop that on my lips. And then on top, I'm going to go in with NARS lip gloss, and this is in Gold Digger. There you have the finished look. It's a dramatic smoky eye and contouring. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you. Bye.